Okay, so for the first part of this question, we're asked to find the gradient field for the given function. So let's recall what exactly the gradient field is. Well, the gradient field is a vector, and its components are the partial derivatives of f. So for a function of x and y, the i component of the gradient is going to be the partial derivative with respect to x, and the j component is going to be the partial derivative with respect to y. So let's go ahead and find those two partial derivatives. So let's do x first. So if I want to differentiate this res with respect to x, the first term, 3x, is going to become 3, and then negative 2y plus 7 are both going to be treated like constants, and they're going to end up being 0. So let's do fy. Again, this time 3x and 7 are both going to be constants, so they're going to be 0. And then the derivative of negative 2y is negative 2. So plug those in, and I get that the gradient of f is 3, negative 2. Now, part b asks us to sketch factors in the gradient field at the points 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1. Well, I actually have a constant gradient for this function, right? I don't have any x's or y's. So the gradient factors are going to be the same no matter what point you're at. So let's go ahead and draw one of the vectors. I want to go right three units and down two units. So something like this. All of my vectors are the same length and they're all parallel to each other. So that's our answer.